Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose, <clears throat> and today we're going to be talking about the Reconstruction Amendments. Um, now, before I go into this topic, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment so the channel can continue to grow. So, the Reconstruction Amendments are very important amendments to the, to the U.S. Constitution. Um, we're talking about here the 13th Amendment, the 14th Amendment, and the 15th Amendment. Now, the 13th Amendment, basically, it gets rid of slavery, all right? So, um, indentured servitude, slavery, the 13th Amendment gets rid of that, uh, except, you know, if you commit a crime, then you can be, you know, you can be forced to do uh, labor. Uh, the 14th Amendment, it pretty much anybody who's born in the United States or anybody who is naturalized in the United States, they, get, they are citizens. Um, so it pretty much says who's a citizen, so black, white, um, because, you know, after the, the Civil War in the United States, um, <clears throat> black people were considered to be citizens of the U.S. So with the 13th Amendment and the 14th Amendment, black people in the U.S., African Americans, um, people who were formerly slaves, they were both um, free um, people and also they were American citizens. The 15th Amendment pretty much states that, you know, anybody can vote. Um, well, not anybody, pretty much men, black men, white men, uh, they can vote, um, you know, they, you cannot stop someone from voting because of their color or restrict them or try to uh, figure out a way of keeping them from voting because of their color. So the 13th and 14th and 15th Amendment, what they are, they're the Reconstruction Amendment, they were passed after the Civil War in the United States, and they were, they were you know, implemented because you wanted to have a, the U.S., uh, be pretty much equal in terms of protecting the right of black people in America at the time. Because after the Civil War, you had to bring back um, the Union and the Confederate uh, states. You had to bring them back into the Union. And so these amendments were created so that uh, black people, their protections, their, their rights were protected. Um, they, they were considered to be citizens. They had the right to vote. They were free people. Uh, but still, they didn't have civil rights. I mean, later when civil rights, the, the Civil Rights Act of um, 1964, when it comes in, it's very important because it allows uh, black people to not be discriminated against um, because, you know, you had segregation, uh, you know, because based on color, several states had rules where, you know, black people couldn't eat at certain restaurants. You had segregation, you know, black people couldn't eat at certain restaurants. They couldn't work at certain places. They couldn't go to school at certain places. With the Civil Rights Act of 1964, basically, you know, um, that all of that is gone. You know, you can't just, you can't, you know, uh, reject someone's, uh, uh, reject someone's application for a job or um, tell someone they can't take a bus or tell someone they, that they can't eat at a restaurant because of their color. That's what the Civil Rights Act of 1964, that's what it did. If you're ever wondering what, uh, what policies that changed, that's what it changed. It made it illegal for an institution of any kind um, to tell someone they can't use that facility or institution uh, based upon race or sex or anything like that, or, or origin or things like that. Uh, it's the Civil Rights Act of 1964. It's, a, it's an act, it's a law, it's not an amendment. Um, but, but these are amendments. The 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendment are specifically uh, for minority groups, specifically black people. Um, that pretty much makes black people free. That says that they're citizens, that they're Americans, uh, and also that they have a right to vote. We're, we're talking about men here. Women didn't get the right to vote in America, both black and white, until the 19th Amendment, okay? Uh, you know, white women, black women, uh, they didn't get the right to vote in America until... Uh, the 19th Amendment, which is quite significant because if you think about it, uh, for the most part in America, the only people that were, were voting were just white men. Um, and so, yeah, that's that's the history of America. There's nothing I could, else I could say about that. Um, so the 13th, 14th Amendment, they are known as the Reconstruction Amendments. They were created so that the rights of black people could be protected in America. Um, they were um, These amendments were created after the Civil War to make sure that there was a smooth transition between the Union, uh, the Confederate States, and, you know, people of African descent in America uh, so that, um, you know, the certain rights were protected. Um, so very important amendments. We still have them today. They're still um, significant today. Uh, but that's what they were for. They were created after the Civil War. Um, and that's what they say. Um, so please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, you know, that's the Reconstruction Amendments.